All right, so let's talk locally here. A service that so many people depend on to get around the Des Moines uh, bus service, DART. It is facing a $4 million budget shortfall right now. The Transportation Agency plans to ask the Des Moines City Council for a 2.5% franchise fee increase. WHO 13's Roger Riley has been checking into this, joins us now live from the DART Central Station. Roger. Yeah, hi Elias. You know, the city of Des Moines currently has a 5% franchise fee, which was the maximum. That's until the legislature voted to allow Des Moines to raise that by 2.5% if they want to. Now, this if this increase does not happen, riders will face a big reduction in service. A 40% reduction in bus service in the city of Des Moines is significant. So our service today is extremely tailored to ridership and where that demand is. We provide the most frequent service on the busiest routes where we carry the most people, and we provide a lot less frequent service on the routes that don't carry as many people. So if we need to reduce service by 40%, we're going from um, a system that provides sometimes 20 minute frequency during those busy hours of the day to um, 30 minute frequency. Now that reduction would come over the next five years for DART riders. The number one reason people ride DART is to get to work. 61% do not have access to a car. Now DART will be holding a series of public hearings starting November 30th. Uh, the DART riders I spoke with say they really count on the service. I mean, we need this DART service. More people use it all the time and I 2.5 percent is not going to hurt that much. Oh, I just usually come down here on my off day. I go to have V give me some Chinese food. People without cars, man, we depend on that. You know what I'm saying? To get up from A to B. Now, once these hearings conclude, DART will forward the findings to the Des Moines City Council to consider the franchise fee. Now, Elias, they, they can do a 2.5 percent or nothing or something in between, but something in between would also change. The cuts wouldn't be as severe as 40 percent, if that makes sense. That's what's happening now with this. All right, but either way, it will impact riders, whether it's reduction or they're going to have to pay more, it seems like. And, Roger, we appreciate you being on top of that story for us tonight.